hi there again everyone this is again alan and welcome back to my channel yes i'm finally back here in my room my home and my country the philippines and i'm so happy and um for those who do not know by the way and for those who do not follow me in social media i was away for like at least three weeks because i attended the united nations framework conference on climate change which happened in madrid spain on december 2 to 13 so my task there was as a photographer for the Climate Tracker and the World Health Organization. So thank you to these organizations who paid my way to a totally great and new experience. And um, although my task there was a photographer, of course, I did not forget my role and my assignment as a painter for you guys. So what I'm going to be sharing you are my paintings and my journey in madrid spain and in barcelona so i'm so excited to show you the entire journey and i hope you stay because it's gonna be starting right now for this tour to madrid i took the qatar airways the total duration of the flight was 18 hours and there was a stop at Doha airport and I was so nervous because the layover was only for one hour. Luckily, we were able to catch up to our connecting flight because they guided so us so we well. Made it. So thank you Qatar Airways, kudos to that. And I arrived Madrid safely. My first hotel in Spain, finally after 18 hour plane trip. This is the day. So I'm going out walk or and the next day uh, I went nice. out for so a short walk hello good morning our next Hi. day we had our training after we transferred to our official hotel the training was for two days with the whole climate tracker team that's Sunday and Saturday hi good morning and on our way to our first training day venue and with me are Peter Anna, Anna Marwa. and Marwa <laughs> And this is our training area because you need to get trained, you're attending a UN event. Okay, for every day, for two weeks, we took the train to attend the conference at Feria de Madrid. This is the venue for the COP25. Hi, so we got some tea, apples, and oranges. Yeah. Thanks. Of course, every day they provided us free tangerines, apples, chocolate bars, coffee. Thank you. And uh, of course, if there are great times, there are also some a little stressful times. There were protests, but these were, I think, more on the peaceful side of uh, protests. And I believe the biggest star of the uh, COP25 is Greta Thunberg. It was so hard to get a photo of this kid because all the media people are flocking and I think she saw me taking her picture. I think this is one of the highlights of my role there as a photographer. And of course, I painted the star, Greta Thunberg. I painted her during lunch break because I do not have time at night because at night that's the time when I edit and process my photos and post them in my Flickr account for the other journalists and for the climate trackers uh, use and I also did some interviews some representatives negotiators businessmen but I think one of the biggest persons I saw there was of course no less than the Queen of Spain also uh, Lord and the Garda, a former and senator so here in the Philippines. Our so far as the Philippines is concerned. I was also invited by the World Health Organization to give my speech during the Global Climate and Health Summit at the Madrid University College of Medicine. Let's make our children the achievers of their dreams. Thank you so much, Ignatius. And of course, I need to include the facade of Feria de Madrid, IFEMA. And of course, this will be very memorable. Goodbye! During the conference, I believe there were 25,000 people expected. And the event was originally scheduled in Chile, but due to uh, disputes, it was moved to Madrid, but still organized by Chile. 
So, okay, enough of the COP25. Let's now go to our house. So, welcome to our house for two weeks. And since I'm alone now, I'm gonna give you a house tour. So, let's start here. This is Leo and Kartik's room. Sorry for invading your privacy. This is the living area where we do some occasional meetings. This is my room with Peter. And this is Maruwa's room. This is our toilet shower. This is Chris's room and former room of Andrea and Anna. And of course, another toilet. And of course, our beautiful kitchen. Ta -da! We have everything here in our dining area. That's it. So, this is the Climate Tracker team. This is me from the Philippines, Chris from Australia, Daniela from Spain, Ignacio from Spain, Obi or Leo from Kenya. Andrea from Argentina, Kartik from India, Maroa from Tunisia, Anna from Spain, Wafa from Egypt, Peter from Czech Republic, and Dizan from Trinidad and Tobago. Okay, I memorize your name. You, be you better not forget my name too. For a week, we had a challenge which was to cook by pair for the group. And my partner at that time was Andrea, so this was us. We were loaded with deadlines for our publications, for our submissions, but also we had so much fun and um, bonding times, especially when, whenever we gather for a meal or especially for dinner because that's the time we have time to uh, talk to each other and be... Uh, more casual and you know but my favorite in spain is not their paella but their bocadillo de calamari hi so finally i have free time here now in madrid so the first place that i plan to visit is the rizal park for those who do not know jose rizal is our national hero in the philippines and we have his monument in manila which happens to also have a replica here in Madrid and it's amazing I really have to uh, visit this first and paint it first okay so this is our first hand entry painting here to my uh, Madrid or Spain journal so let's go So now I think we're done with this. Anyway, this is just our first entry and it's still wet. So let's now compare it. Okay. And this is actually an exact replica of the one we find here in Luneta in Manila. And it's Sunday so I have free time and I'm gonna go out to paint. I'm gonna go explore the city. Might uh, go to the plaza as a mayor and to the cathedral with my gloves on because it's 4 degrees, it's so cold but the people are also out so let's go! I'm painting the Plaza Felipe the 4th and suddenly it rained so we are here under the shade of this tree. So now we're done. I'm now here at the Palace of Madrid and I'm standing at the Cathedral of Almudena and I'm gonna paint these two structures also because they're so beautiful and they're very intricately designed.
so for now I think we're done because it's really getting super cold it's 4 degrees so uh, and there's there are showers <laughs> they're getting on my painting so I think we're good for now the Royal Palace of Madrid is the official residence of the Royal Family of Spain it is the largest functioning palace and the largest by floor area in Europe with 135,000 square meters in total. Oh my god. The Almudena Cathedral was consecrated by Pope John Paul II in 1993 and the spot where I sat to paint was actually where the Pope passed by when he uh, was in the cathed cathedral in 1993 and here's the photo. Hi, so now we're here at the Plaza Mayor. It's also popular here. And there is, I think, an outdoor bazaar going on sale here. And there are lots of people. So every wall is painted red, except for this one, which has different paintings. And it's interesting. Hi there, behind me is the Metropolis. This is very popular in Madrid and whenever I google images of Madrid, this always comes out so I included it in my page. Hi there, behind me is Puerta de Alcala and of course I cannot miss this popular landmark so it's also included. The Puerta de Alcala is actually the oldest modern post-Roman triumphal arch in Europe and the style is neoclassical. So now I've included the Plaza de Alonso Martinez in Chambiri because this is the plaza that we see every single day and night during the conference because this is where our station was. This was the nearest station in our residence. That wraps up our Madrid experience. I hope you stay because next week and on the coming days, I'll be showing more and I'll be showing my Barcelona experience and I believe that's gonna be more fun because that is an entirely leisurely tour. And I'll also be showing you my art in Barcelona so please stay tuned to that and for those who are not subscribed yet please do subscribe and don't forget to like and share this video to support my page again thank you very much for watching see you again next week gracias